Well, this is a slightly different sort of video to the kind of videos I normally make, I think, because I just wanted to share with you something that has happened. I mean, basically, I was I was kind of attacked. I wasn't physically hurt or anything, but it was very aggressive and pretty unpleasant. And I wanted to share with you what had happened around that. So we were in Gus the Bus and we have been parking down on Twickenham Riverside. We have residence parking permits so we can park anywhere on a D space. And unfortunately, they had an event down in the gardens, Champion Gate Gardens, I think they're called. And they suspended all of the parking permits just around that area so that cars could park for the event. So we had to move for a day. It was just for a day. We'll stay as late as we can where we are and then we'll quickly move to a different D space and then move back again at the end of the event. It'll be fine. Sadly, it was very, very tough to find another D space. I mean, Gus the Bus is a big old bus and long. So and we don't want to cause any obstruction and we don't, you know, obviously we're not looking to, to upset anybody. Anyway, the only space we could find was in a space not far. I'm not going to tell you the exact road, but it's a very swanky road. It was a D parking space. So, you know, we are within our rights to, to park there. So we did park there. And in the morning, a chap came out of his house and was looking rather askance at the at the bus. And I, and I said to Jeff, I'll just get out and have a quick word with him and just reassure him. Because I do know that people that live in swanky roads are often a little, a little scared. They can be rather scared of um, undesirables coming in and disrupting their haven. And I, I don't want to upset anybody. We weren't doing anything wrong. But hey, you know, let's just be nice. So I jumped out of the bus and said, excuse me, um, I just want you to know we're not going to be nesting here. You have nothing to fear. We're here very short term. There's been, uh, they've just suspended the, the parking permits down on the riverbank because of, an, because of an event. We shall be wending our way. And I, and I shared something with him about the trip and about the fact that the kids are in our cottage. We live in Twickenham too. It was very chatty. I think it was fine. He was actually fine. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I was just wondering. Well, I hadn't seen you before. I was just wondering what it was. And anyway, it was all fine. Perfectly amenable. Very nice. All very civilised. So I went off. I decided to have a change of scene from the bus. So I went off to a local shared working space to do some work. I had three one hour readings booked in that afternoon already. So I came back to the bus in good time for the readings and sat down, started the readings when this chap and his wife, this, this chap primarily, started hammering on the bus door, basically yelling at me. Through, I'm, I'm on a call with my client, yelling at me through the bus door. Flynn went insane and was obviously thought we were under attack and was barking and snapping and snarling at the door. It's like, whoa, what's going on? It was terrifying. He was like banging on the door and, and I was like, whoa, whoa what, what on earth could have happened? We had a nice conversation earlier. What, what on earth is happening? So I opened the door and he started shouting at me about how we're making them feel uncomfortable. And are we planning on sleeping here another night because we definitely can't do that and we have to move. And, and anyway, it was all very garbled and very aggressive and very upsetting indeed. I said to him, look, I'm, I'm working here. I'm with a client. I need to stop this. And anyway, I, I went to close the door and he just went, don't you close the door. <laughs> don't you do that. I was like, whoa. Luckily for me, Gus the bus's door works backwards. So as he, he, he wasn't able to block me shutting the door because he tried to block me shutting the door so he could continue to shout at me, I think. Anyway, I did close the door on him and his wife decided to walk around the bus and very pointedly taking pictures of the registration and I presume me. The whole thing was absolutely horrible. They were out of control. They were incredibly aggressive and hysterical. I have never experienced such a thing in my life. Anyway, the story doesn't quite end there because the next day, on the Saturday, the lady, she left two comments on two videos that basically said, 
take your bus and go and park elsewhere. We don't want tarot in TW1. I'm quoting. I've taken the comments off now because I didn't want people chiming in and, and, and the whole thing getting blown up. She also left a similarly worded but slightly different message on a, on a different video. So she left one on the monthly video and then one on the video after that as well. We don't want tarot in TW1. I mean, it's like, what, what's next? Are we going to do flaming torches and pitchforks here? Unfortunately for her, I'm also a resident of TW1 <laughs> and have been for about nine years. I'm not going to tell you what her profession is, but put it like this. It is a profession that should have her knowing better. Her and her husband are obviously intelligent people. And for her to behave in that way was absolutely abhorrent. That's not good enough, is it? It's not good enough. This is my life. This is what I do for a living. I'm very proud of what I do. I do it to a very high professional standard. I hold myself accountable. I do good work. I make a difference in the world. We were not breaking any laws. We were not causing any disruption. We were not doing anything wrong except being there for a day. And they and and she just lost, lost it. So I, I'd be interested to know what you think about this. And um, and so I'll probably leave it there. But but it is food for thought. So anyway, I will love you and leave you there. And I will see you soon. Okay, bye bye for now.